<laughs> I think we're live. Are we live, guys? Hi, how are you? Hi from Teddy and I. I've just got Teddy here because it always works better when he apologizes on my behalf, but we had connection issues. I am so sorry. Teddy, what's this? <laughs> but we are back. Um, and we're ready to go. I'm ready to absolutely smash you. Welcome to Monday's workout. If you're not doing this on Monday, if you're doing it in retrospect, cool. All you've got to know is this is going to burn. Okay, this is going to burn. We're doing something different today. We are combining ladder hits with Pilates core. So it's kind of... It's different, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's only 30 minutes long, followed by a Q&A. So, I'm hoping we've got quite a few smashed thumbs up, if you haven't already. Please smash the thumbs up button. Also, grab your resistance band. One sec. Whoop. If you've got it, grab your adjustable resistance band. I know most of you have them on order right now. Um, okay, so structure-wise, should we just turn the music down a tiny bit? We're gonna be doing a three-minute warm-up. Once we've done our three minute warm up, we're going into a ladder, our first ladder. So we basically have four exercises. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, okay? We're then gonna be doing 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're going up the ladder. The good news is, it's not like a pyramid, we don't come back down. We just go up, okay? So we're gonna warm up, then I'm gonna show you your four exercises, then we're smashing through that. It's gonna be brutal, but it'll be great at the same time. Okay, let's warm up. So we're just gonna get your body moving. Okay, starting off with a nice simple squat, guys. Push the legs out, and then come back up again. Just warming up. Oh my gosh, I've been filming for the app, and my legs are absolutely gone. This is gonna hurt. Okay, guys, set your intention. Think about what your goal is, okay? Think about why you're here and try and push through. I got you. 30 minutes, okay? That's all. Wow. 
workout is I'm gonna let you partly choose what we're doing, okay? And that's because I know we're all at different levels. I am gonna show modifications, but you have a second now to quickly type in what is your favorite hit fat burn exercise and what is your favorite core exercise? So just to recap, we're doing 20 on, 10 off, for four different exercises. We're then doing 30 on, 10 off, 40 on, 10 off, 50 on, 10 off. And we are so in this together, okay? So our first exercise is a really simple one. We do it all the time. You can add your band on if you want to. You're gonna jump your feet in, out, and squat. Pop the band on. If you're a beginner, literally step, okay? Our second exercise is gonna be fast feet. When I clap, you're gonna go down, Half burpee and back up again, okay? Let me know if anything's come through to it. Our third exercise, which I know you hate, is frogger's. Okay, so we're down here. We're gonna jump forward. We're saying bicycles. We like bicycles. Yeah, jump back. Saying, yeah, burpees. <laughs> they like them. Yeah. Crazy! Okay, that is your third exercise. Your fourth exercise, because you wanted it. It was between this and toe reaches. We're gonna do bicycles and they are speed bicycles, as fast as you can. Uh, your, people saying jump squat as well. We already got them. Your fifth yeah. exercise, uh, I'm nice. sorry, nice. is gonna be burpees. Okay, so just to repeat, guys, we have our jump in out squats, okay? You know they're painful, you know they're hard, but you know you can make it. Second up, so if you need to, you step them, okay? Second up is your fast feet. When I clap, you go with a half burpee, or if you're a beginner, you go with a squat. Third up was your froggers. If you struggle with them, you can step them. Fourth is your bicycles. Fifth is your burpees. I'm going to show you modifications. Okay, guys, no more talking. We're literally going straight in, okay? So we are going to be doing, we're going to be doing 30 seconds on. Had to make sure I was right there. Yeah, 20 seconds on, sorry, 10 seconds off. We are going to go in 10 seconds, guys. So this is the easy round. It gets harder as we go up. Going in five. Four, three, jump in out squats. Pop the band on if you want to. Let's go, 20 seconds. Guys, it gets harder as you go up, okay? So pace yourself.
jump in our squats. Get ready, going in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And stepping if you want to, but keep it fast, okay? be halfway we're going in 10 seconds come on guys breathe five four three jumping out squats let's go breathe guys breathe okay step if you have to but keep it fast
seconds. Tear it, you okay? Yeah. Are we on a different one? Keep moving, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Guys, bicycle. Just to point out that wasn't Tara's fault, it was mine. I made you repeat, but that's cool. We're repeating 30. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. rather than five. Okay, guys, just checking I have the right timer. Yes, we do, 40, 50, 40, 10, sorry. Okay, we're going in 10 seconds. This is where you've really got to push for me, okay? Give me everything, jumping out squats. Going in three, two, one, let's go. Thank you. 
45 seconds on, 15 seconds off squat. Have we got any numbers through, Alex? Not this shape, it's away. <laughs> oh, I love that. A bar of fillers at nine. Ooh, love it. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a total. Katarina's, I think, did 14. Justina is 11. And then she's feeling a 14. Vera's an 8.5. Seif is nine. Ellie. Awesome. Nine. Alicia's a nine. Okay, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have more pre-workout. All right, guys, we are going in 15 seconds. Just to let you know, this is Pilates abs. So it's slow, it's controlled until I say go faster. We're concentrating on form. All right, starting off sitting up, 15 seconds till we go. This stuff is brutal. Okay, going in six seconds. Sit nice and upright, guys. I want a slight bend in the knees. Okay, roll back. Pull the tummy muscles in nice and tight. Relax the shoulders. Find that feet.
here, we hold on the seven. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold. Oh! 
bring the legs out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, chest open, five, Guys, you absolutely smashed it. This is his favorite position. He just chills, can you see that? He chills on my shoulder. He's like, this is my cushion. Mwah. I'm so proud of you, that was torturous, right? Ted, do you want your teepee? Come here. We'll get you your teepee, come on. You like lying on the mat. Guys, you smashed it. Please, please, please drop a thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, if you're doing part, this is part of the summer shred, you already know that you need to look at the PDF. Literally clickable link straight there. I'm trying to think what else there is to tell you. We're now sold out, guys. We're sold out in these, so if you missed them, I am so sorry. We still have like very few left in black for pre-order, okay? So make sure you check it out on my website. Um, and we're gonna do a little Q&A now. So I'm gonna log in myself. We call this the drugs, because he literally... <laughs> How funny is that? Yeah, was that yummy? Actually, pretty disgusting, Ted. Okay, cool. How is everyone, Tara? Well done for making it, guys. Um, okay, right. Yeah, so just questions now. If anyone has questions, chuck them through. There's also a finisher that we recommend you do with this, so please, please make sure you check out the finisher. Oh my gosh, I should never ever bother washing my hair, I swear. Actually ridiculous how sweaty it gets. Okay, love the music. DJ Alex, they love the music. <laughs> That's all down to Alex, guys. Okay, well done guys, I'm honestly so proud of you. I know this isn't easy, so I'm so, so proud of you. Um, all right, questions are about um, anything to do with physio form side of things. For those of you who don't know, I am actually a physiotherapist. I haven't practiced in a clinic or I used to work in professional football, soccer, um, but for a while, obviously, because I now work online. But yeah, any form physio -y questions, chuck them through right now while yeah, my boy gets my, my drugs. Claire from Claire oh, wait, sorry. Before you do, hey. hold fire. Hold fire on that question. I'm trying to remember her surname. Oh, sorry, baby. Let me hey, quickly. It's Trevette. Kate, if you are here, happy birthday. And those of you who are in the private Facebook group will know Kate, of course. So happy birthday, I really hope you're doing this live. If you're not doing it live, I know you'll be doing it later on. But Kate, are you there? You normally do the lives. But either way, happy birthday from all of us. Okay, question, let's go. Sorry, Steph. Okay, Claire Castledine mm -hmm. asks, what do you mean by chest open? Ah, okay, cool. Let me show you. It's easier to just to, just making sure that's not quiet. Um, so form for anything to do with when you're sitting, okay gorgeous, okay. When you're sitting on your butt and doing like a roll back hold or a boat, I'll show you now. This is chest closed, which is like a C shape, okay? This is chest open. So it's literally like you're sticking your chest out. And another really good way of visualizing it, um, that helps you to get into the right form is your collarbones. So you want your collarbones, rather than being closed in like this, you want your collarbones to be open chest up, shoulders back, shoulder blades back, okay? So when you're doing a boat hold, what I mean by that is if you're doing this, it's, it's still working your core, don't get me wrong, but as soon as you do that, particularly with your legs up, you're gonna feel a huge difference. Works the core a lot more. Okay, I hope that's, that's that one again. I feel like this is like quick, quick fire round questions. Yeah. Kings, uh, I'm exhausted. Ask. Uh, when I do ab exercises, my neck starts hurting more than my abs. Am I putting too much strain on my neck rather than working from my abs? Still jamming to the music. I like it. Keep it on the way. <laughs> so basically, um, guys, what you need to always know, the general rule of thumb, is your body will take the easiest option. Your body will take the easiest route, and that applies to everything with exercise. Like. Basically, you'll notice sometimes one side of your body is stronger than the other. That means that you'll tend to start your exercises on that side, so you're better at it and stronger at it. It's the same with when you're training abs. Depending on how strong your core is, 
will determine how much your neck and your back start, lower back start hurting or working. So um, we obviously want our core to be working, but sometimes when our core is not quite strong enough or it's feeling a bit tired, your neck muscles, your deep neck flexors here will start hurting and often your lower back as well. So there's a few ways. I've actually got a really good video um, which if you come to my private Facebook group, I'll post it. I know a few of the girls have posted it. It's a really old one of mine, but it's awesome because it talks you through like the basic points. But let me show you now. Hello, <laughs> Right in the way. Okay, so coming all the way down. Can they see me here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll start off just with feet down. We're going to imprint the spine, so lower the back into the mat. Pull that core in nice and tight and the tailbone's tucked under. So what I mean is tailbone hose sticking out. Tailbone's tucked under, rib cages down, core's tight, okay? It's literally rock solid rather than, okay, here. All right, from there, in terms of the neck, what you wanna do is pretend you're holding a piece of fruit here. So you want like a peach or a plum, I would say, or a tennis ball. So you're gonna tuck the chin to the chest, then lift up. And you wanna always look forward. The time when your neck will start hurting is when you do this. So can you actually see my neck muscles from there? No. Oh, awesome. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Tell you that's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. You can have it after. Okay, so you can actually probably literally do it. So you hold it like that, like you're playing one of them games that we used to on holiday. Hey. And then from there you lift up and your eye gaze will automatically go forward. If you do this, watch. It's fallen off. Yeah? Now you can have it too. So holding that imaginary ball, piece of fruit, or an actual ball, look forward. As soon as you do this, you're gonna put strain on your neck muscles. And I don't know if you can actually, you can physically see this. So let me show you up close. I'm such a geek. Uh, you might not be able to hear, but I'll, I'll show you. So watch this. So that's how you should be, like you've got a double chin, right? But watch when I do this. Can you see those muscles? Particularly do. Can you see that, Alex? Yeah. Yeah? It's like it's straining, right? That's physically what you're doing when you take your head looking up. So instead you want to relax these muscles. So do this instead. And that works these and will allow your core to work rather than your deep neck flexors, which is what those muscles are called, your deep neck flexors. Um, so yeah, every single time you want to tuck your chin to your chest, you want to look forward, hold that imaginary piece of fruit, works for hundreds, even for your bicycles. But if you feel that your neck is really hurting at any point, just literally lower the head down. This is what we do in Pilates. We take it back to basics. And then when you feel able to, you'll lift the head back up again. <laughs> Next question. Victoria Murphy is asking, how can I stop my hip joints from hurting when doing other exercises? Um, actually hurting or clicking? Has you written hurting? Uh, from hurting, I assume hurting, clicking. Yeah, so there's a big difference, he's so comfy, <laughs> there's a big difference uh, between clicking and hurting. So if they're, they're like generally clicking, that's not anything to worry about. My like deep hip flex, my hip flexors and my hips click a lot, uh, particularly during our exercises, particularly anything when you're like in boat and moving the legs. That's relatively normal. Teddy, you're not allowed it because that's actually daddy's. I'm sorry. He's not going to be happy. <laughs> but, off he goes. Um, but if you're actually getting pain, it could be so many things. Um, if it's really sharp pain that's causing you a lot of trouble, honestly, I'd go to a physio to get it checked out. If it feels like it's more of a tightness and a clicking, you want to be stretching out your, your hip flexors 100%. So it might be that your hip flexors are a little bit tight. So to stretch your hip flexors, you want to be doing quite a few different stretches but one of the easiest ones to get into is this one here you want to take that body weight forward keep the chest open okay and leaning forward and you'll feel it down this front leg here okay core nice and tight so stretching before and after a workout particularly after with that particular one the ones where you're holding it um, and potentially go and get them checked by a physio but it's highly likely that it's tightness um, and again, your core isn't quite strong enough, so your hip flexors are working. One other little trick, which I actually showed you in a previous Q&A, if you're feeling that your hip flexors are working, um, when you're doing like, say for example, like 
ab work here, core work here. What you can do is turn the knees out and feet together, even place your hands behind you for a little bit of support, and that turns off the hip flexors. Here they're on, they're working here, they're not working, and it's just your core with a little bit of your inner thighs, your adductors. Okay, next, quick five. <laughs> I'm saying nice double chin. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Probably my most ever attractive. I'm so. I was thinking about this, like so many of the other YouTubers look so cute and pretty with their nice hairstyles while they're doing lives and I'm just like, there's no point. <laughs> Total natural vibes guys, because you're just going to get so sweaty, so what's the point? <laughs> okay, next! Um, Alex is like the quiz master. Paula now is asking, how do I put my hands in a, in a diamond shape position? Essentially what position is correct? Like this? So you want one thumb over the other. Can they see? Yeah. Yeah. One thumb over the other, fingers on top of the other, and you'll have a tiny little diamond. Can you see that small little diamond there? And then um, you'll often hear me say, underneath the small of the back, and then I kind of correct myself. And that's because everyone's spine is different. But you start off with them like this, okay? And you start off kind of underneath the arch of the back, but that is not where you want them to be. You then work your way down to where you feel they're supporting you. So it is gonna be a tiny bit uncomfortable because one thumb will likely be on top of the other, fingers might be on top of the other. If you prefer, you can end up doing that and your coccyx ends up sitting in this bit here. Honestly, it depends on where you feel comfortable. I do it, the reason why I do it and I encourage you to do it a lot of the time is because as my legs come lower, I'm gonna exaggerate this, but watch my lower back. Naturally, my lower back comes up a lot. Can they see that, Alex? Yeah. And that is not what we want, particularly if you didn't have your hands there. Watch this. This is bad. Do not do this. Do not. But that, ooh, and that is straining the hell out of your lower back and your core isn't working. So I, I do this purely because I'm naturally really curved, naturally really lordosed, and I've had so many back problems in the past that I actually do this to support myself. I keep my ribcage down, I keep my core engaged, and that really helps me by having them there. Some people, will prefer no hands, it totally depends. All you need to make sure you're doing is staying in imprint. Lower back, flat core, core tight. Yeah. Claire Casper-Dean is asking, how many protein shakes do you recommend a day? A day? How much protein do you recommend? I only have one a day. Um, so I have one a day even on my rest days. Um, Sometimes I'll have more than one protein serving. So I'll have every single day a protein shake and I tend to actually have it in the morning with my espresso. So I'll have, um, it was in last week's guide, I'm pretty sure. What do we have in it? Espresso, a banana, um, almond or any form of oat milk, almond, coconut or um, oat milk, any form of nut milk I should say. Um, a little bit of vanilla flavor. Um, one tablespoon of natural yogurt or coconut yogurt. That's it, right? Blend it up. You can have a little bit of honey if you want or the vanilla syrup, blend it up. So that's my one in the, in the morning. That's 30 grams. 30 grams or 20 grams, we've just had a mind blank. Optimum nutrition, 30 grams or 20? 20 grams, 20. <laughs> no, plant-based I think, oh gosh. Anyway, I'll let you know, but that's my one serving. Um, and then I often, for, for dessert in the evening, we'll have some natural yogurt with another like tablespoon. So I guess I'm having shakes about one and a half a day. Um, but even on rest days, I have them because I'm only having one or two rest days a week, normally one, uh, unless like last week I had three. <laughs> or was it the week before? It was the week before. Yeah, so I hope that answers that. Next. Uh, could you show us a stretching position for lower back pain? Lower back pain? So many. Um, all right, so your lower back works in two, three, four different planes. Yeah, well, this is taking me back to uni. Flexion, bending over, extension, bending back, rotation, rotation, side flexion, side flexion. So you can stretch in so many ways. I'm gonna give you some really basic ones which are beautiful um, and just really, really nice for relieving back pain. So the first one is just hugging your knees into your chest 
I'd actually recommend doing this anyway, guys, even if you don't have back pain. The higher up, the um, sorry, the tighter you hug in, the higher up your spine you're going to feel it. And you just want to literally rock side to side. It's really, really nice and soothing. If you want it lower down the back, just literally hold on really gently to your knees because this will be lower and draw some circles. And you'll even feel like, particularly after our Pilates and our booty days, that your, your glutes will get hit as well. And then change direction. You can do this while I'm actually doing this. Really, really nice. Another one is your rotations. Arms out to your side. You can put the pillow in between and just rotate side to side. And that's going to hit into your lumbar spine, lower back rotation. And then what you can do is take them over to one side, hook the upper leg higher and apply a pressure down. Hold for 10 to 20 seconds in each direction. Okay, then we can go into our extension. So Mackenzie's, these are called. Literally coming onto your tummy, lowering down. This is also in yoga, a lot of you will do it, okay? So we start off as physios really, really gentle here, then come onto the forearms, that may be enough. Squeezing the butt, pulling the stomach muscles in nice and tight. And then if you're able to, pop your fingertips by your chest, take a deep breath in and on the breath out, come up. And you wanna make sure that the quads are working keeping the chest open. We tend to not do this type of thing, which a lot of yogis do, we keep looking forward. But that's just the way that physios go. And then you can reverse that here as well. Into your child's pose. Yeah. Next. <laughs> this feels literally, do you know what this feels like guys? I think it's because my head is so mush today. I've been filming for the app and my body is so isn't it Alex? Yeah. We've been in the pool earlier because my hamstrings, my butt, oh my god, yesterday I filmed for one of the guides, one of the new guides for the app. The pain is actually ridiculous. It was only half an hour, far out. Um, and because of that, you know when your body's really tired, my head has just suddenly gone Psh! and I now am having visualizations that I'm in a physio exam. <laughs> Because we used to have to do this at uni, we had the vivas where you have to talk through things and clinically reasons. So this is how this feels. Okay, so next. This is a question. Next. Uh, Libby Villa Corta says you're my favorite YouTuber, Lily. Your workouts are the best. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that means so much. Honestly, thank you. Like we're now, we were working it out. I think we're like in maybe the biggest ten YouTubers at fitness in girls in my space which for me guys is mental and the reason why i'm telling you that is not because i'm in the top 10 woo it's because i have been looking up to those other girls for years thinking oh i really hope we can get there one day and now we're kind of like getting there it feels this whole past three months feels like a dream a roller coaster dream <laughs> and the two words i choose um, so thank you, that really, really means a lot. It just is phenomenal that we're now being seen because we've been doing this for three years, but it took a really long time for people to find us. And um, so yeah, that means a lot. Who was that? That was Livy. Livy, thank you, Livy. You have no idea how much that means. Um, yeah, Vicky Chen asks, can you please do knee friendly, no squat, hip slash full body workouts? I can't follow around with your normal fat burn ones. Yeah, the normal. Huh? Yeah, so the normal fat burn lives are tough for me to show everything, if I'm totally honest. That's why I try and, because I don't, for those of you who don't know, I actually don't have an ACL. I had a really, really bad ski accident a year and a half ago. Alex is playing catch on the wall. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I'm just going to give you a visualization, please. I won't show, I won't let them see you, but. He's wearing his boxers. He's also in like a top and his hair is so long that he's had to tie it in a ponytail. <laughs> so you look like, what is that cartoon character, that little baby, me, who has the hair, not Monsters Inc. Is it Monsters Inc. Yeah, thing? Jack Jack. Jack Jack. Jack Jack from uh, Incredibles. You look like Jack Jack. And he's just behind the camera and I'm supposed to try and be serious, guys. Um, okay, so what was the question again? Can you please oh, knee friendly. friendly. Yeah, so I try and show it as much as possible. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to concentrate during the lives. Um, because actually, I can't do all of the exercises. Like, my knees really start like, crunching and crack. 
Ackman quite a lot. Um, but in the pre-recorded, if you search Lily Sabri Hillett, so rather than hit, search H-I-L-I-T, that is high, high intensity, intensity, low impact. impact training. So it's a new word, well, it's not a new word, but it's newly popular, Hillett. So it's Lily Sabri Hillett, and that's all of my uh, high intensity but low impact knee friendly, yeah. hip friendly, back friendly. So you're like that. Also just in our regular path band workouts. Oh, we always have modifications. modifications. Yeah, modifications. yeah, so literally every single fat burn I record, it's like a parcel. Every single fat burn I record, if you look in the top left corner or right corner, don't know, one of the corners, there's modifications. So everything you need is there. Hello, baby. Anything else, bud? Are you okay? Are you okay, Jack Jack? Is your daddy okay? Mama is asking for another Facebook Live haircut. I don't think that's happening, Mama. He wasn't, he wasn't happy with my, my hair cutting skills before. We thought it was fun though, didn't we? Didn't we? He basically, for those of you who didn't see, I ended up just cutting the sides of his head um, because I was so bad. Now he's left with this really long ponytail at the top. Um, all that he asked, how do I improve on plyometrics? And should I breathe through my nose or mouth during workouts? Uh, Pilates, we say in through the nose, out through the mouth. Um, that's the way we work, that's the way that works for me. Um, so you take the deep, deep breath in through the nose and you'll notice I always sigh it out through my mouth, particularly with hundreds. Um, how do you improve on plyometrics? A few ways. Um, doing plyometrics. <laughs> um, any type of jumping exercises, powerful strength, endurance, jumping, power. Um, they also help you to build lean muscle. I love plyometrics. I'm like, I used to be the plyometric queen until I did my knee. So now I'm kind of like more the core queen, I think. I don't know, but I still love plyos. Um, also strength training, anything with weights, the stuff that we do for your glutes, for your legs, all of that is gonna help to improve your strength. So. Um, for me, I, I used to really enjoy running. I don't run anymore, but I used to really enjoy it years ago. Sorry, Ted's distracting is just so cute. Um, and I noticed when I started doing my home workouts that were really targeting the muscles, I actually got faster. And that was because I was stronger. So yeah, that will help players as well. Anything else? Ted's, I know. Uh, Cheryl is asking, taking? which optimum nutrition product do you use for the espresso smoothie? Um, I use the plant-based uh, protein powder and vanilla, plant-based one. Um, but also, ow, Teddy. Also the, um, the lean is good and the uh, gold standard whey is good as well in vanilla. So any of them, in vanilla, but I'd only go vanilla. Um, chocolate could maybe, would chocolate work? Probably not. I wouldn't like it. I'm not a big chocolate fan though. I'm um, sweets. Uh, and a part of more is asking, I always get super dizzy when I do burpees or any other exercises that involve going up and down a lot. Mm -hmm. How can you reduce this and what are some modifications? Hi from London. Hi. <laughs> Hello in London. I hope you enjoyed your heat wave. Um, I... Honestly, it could be to do with, like some people just genetically, it's all about your inner ear because it's your balance. Um, and that can cause dizziness, it can cause like blurry spots in your eyes. There's so many things that can come from like those fast movements up and down. It can also be blood pressure related. Um, honestly, like hand on heart, honestly, if it's causing you dizziness, just don't do it. Um, there are uh, hundreds of thousands of exercises available for you to do. If certain ones don't work for your body, just don't do them. Like that's what I've had to do with my knee now. How crazy is he going by the way? Um, there's certain exercises I just can't do. So I'll often give them to you, demonstrate one or two and then do my own modification. Uh, so with burpees, if they're not for you, they're not for you. I would, in terms of what's gonna work you in the same way as a burpee, I'd go with a commando plank potentially. So when you're in the plank position, you come down onto your elbows and back up again. <laughs> that will really work. Um, Froggers, it'll be interesting to know if froggers make you dizzy, because froggers you're not coming all the way up, so that could be better. A mountain climber, anything that's plank related, um, but isn't getting you to come all the way up and down. So as I said, you can do um, your commandos. Oh, sorry baby, so coming down and up, either on the feet or on the knees, 
or you can go with an oblique mountain climber coming across or even a plank jack as well. Yeah. Next. Um, I love BTS arms. My arms are always shaking during plank exercises. Gosh, so many of you are still here, by the way. Uh, does it mean that my arms aren't strong enough? Should I work on them more? By the way, you're amazing. I'm from Slovakia. Oh, Slovakia. That's cool. Actually, where's everyone from? Quickly type in. Um, I, or where are you living right now? Where are you in, in COVID? Um, sorry, plank exercises, arm shaking. Normal, <laughs> totally normal. Um, it's down to weakness 100%, but way more than weakness, it's stability. So there's different types of strength. Um, for example, core strength, you can have core stability or core strength. Stability is holding you in place, okay? But core strength is how fast and powerfully you can move. So with your shoulders, having stability in them to hold you in one position is all about your muscles working together to hold, right, and control. Whereas um, shoulder strength would be like, how much can you press type of thing. So with the stability, it all comes down to practice over and over. I would start off just by stripping it back a little bit. So starting off on your knees or going down if it's a side plank to a lower level. Um, shorten the lever. So what I mean by that is if your arm is straight, it's harder, right? So the shorter you make it, the less pressure it has on that joint. So if you're starting off on your forearm, it's gonna be easier and then gradually work your way up onto your arm. It's exactly the same with the pressure that you're putting, applying through your legs and through the rest of your body. So let's say you're down on your forearm, for example, here is gonna be the easiest variation. You want your elbow to be underneath your shoulder. To make it then a little bit harder, you can bring a really nice wide stance, one foot in front of the other. Harder still, obviously you're coming here. Harder still. And then you can really start playing around with it as well. But honestly, like my right side is so much weaker than my left. Like everyone has these like, weak, unstable spots, and it just comes down to practicing it and not practicing that every day. If you have a weakness there, make sure you have a day off in between, for sure. Yeah, what else, is everyone? Okay, Italy, Brazil, Texas, North Carolina, NC. Where's NC? North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina, I just said it. Ugh. I've noticed um, in the States you do that a lot. So you'll put like, um, LA. Yeah, well obviously, I know, well not obviously, but I know, oh yeah, of course I know LA, I know New SF, York City. San Where? SF, SF, San Francisco. Every day. Yeah, yeah. So. we don't really do that. That's because, no. I guess like UK, we don't really, they're one word a lot of the time. So like London, Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This is cool, let's try and guess some, some more. <laughs> um, England, who is that? Losing vibes. Woo! Vera is here. Um, uh, sorry. How do I deal with pain in my knees? I'm getting it randomly and it gets so bad that I can re rarely, really, maybe, uh, move my lower leg and foot. And my toes go numb. Straight to a physio for that, 100%. Because if you're getting any numbness, it could be a nerve impingement, nerve trapping. So yeah, just get yourself to a physio, rule anything out. Um, honestly, that's that's the best thing for that. Or, or a doctor as well, of course, like a GP, general practitioner. Um, <laughs> Scotland, Singapore, was there any more questions, Nats? I think that's all your time for now. Okay, should we not do one more? There's a little thank you and goodbye. Is there any questions about the app? Let's end on an app question. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anything comes through. We'll give you a few seconds. I need to stretch my, gosh, I've got it. Should I film for the app today? Am I allowed? Nope. Alex doesn't let me film for the app on days I do live, but I'll, um, I'll film for next week's YouTube then. Sure. And Instagram. He's shaking his head. Nope. He's like my, my boss with all of this because he worries I'm going to get too tired. Okay, straighten out and reach. Do you want to join in with a few stretches? Okay. Anything about the app coming through? When is it launching? <laughs> of course, um, we're not sure guys. I would love to give you a like definite answer, but we are well on our way. Um, 
as soon as we know more, like as soon as we actually know the dates, we'll let you know. We've obviously had the band launch. Um, we're currently working on a potential massive project. <laughs> Looking at Alex, it's huge, isn't it? Um, which will probably require us to go to London at some point soon, as soon as we can. Um, but the app will be before that. So we've got a lot going on, a lot of really exciting stuff, but we would hope within the month. Yeah, and until then, don't worry, I'm not leaving you. I'm still gonna be doing the lives. No stress. Um, how much would it, the app cost monthly? The um, definite prices aren't in place yet, but we're looking around uh, 10 pounds a month, 10 to 12 pounds a month, like uh, $13, roughly US dollars. This is rough. Um, and if you were to buy quarterly, it will work out cheaper or annually cheaper still. Yeah? I look at Alex because he knows more of that stuff to me. How do you pay? It'll be App Store. So literally, or uh, does Android have something different? Yeah. Yeah, yeah or the Red Android the, yeah, variation. Uh, we'll do this workout again. Enjoyed it so much. Did you like that structure? By the way, guys, I can't believe I've still got over 400 of here. Did you like the structure of the ladder? I, I thought it was epic. I loved it. Uh, what trainers are you wearing? These are Adidas. Are they fly knit, maybe? I don't know what they're called, but they are amazing for training. They are so comfortable and they're like a cloud. They're so spongy and light. Um, oh, are the bands gonna be available anytime soon or will it take months for them to restock? Literally, is there any hits left? Uh, there's like a handful. Okay. I think probably by the time this live is finished, it could potentially sell out. <laughs> um, but the, so these, in black are still available, there's not many. And then the hit that goes with it, that's in purple there in black, is still available as well. But honestly, I think they're gonna be gone very soon. When will we be opening for relaunch again? Uh, for pre-launch again, I, I actually don't know. Honestly, I don't know. It won't be months like last time. Um, but yeah, if you're wanting them, I will quickly grab them right now. They're gonna be sent out um, in July. But all of the details are on the website, so check that out. And um, yeah, I think you've got my website anyway. Um, I bought those leggings, these ones, the ombre. Oh, I love them, they are so nice. Uh, with or without trainers, entirely up to you. It depends on the type of training you're doing. For HIIT, I always wear trainers, always. Uh, for weights, in terms of safety, obviously if you're in a gym, you have to wear footwear trainers. Um, but I often quite like without trainers for weights because I like to feel the movement in my feet. Uh, for Pilates, anything mat based, I never really wear shoes at all. I didn't even wear socks for that either. Okay, I think we're good. Ah, oh my gosh, there's so many more. But anyway, I will see you. What will be on the app? Come over to Facebook and we'll explain it all there. But basically it's everything you need from start to finish from a fitness, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, from a fitness point of view. So guides, workouts, lives, nutrition, physio and form tips, tutorials, everything. It's gonna be epic. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs> I should really go, shouldn't I? I need to stretch, man. Oh my gosh. It's from yesterday. Woo! I'll see you on